email them. And if you do not know the email address for background screening, I'm gonna give it to you right now. And it's BG screen, so that's BG screen at aka.myflorida.com. And um, if you want to like reach out to me, you're more than happy to get that to you. But you know, we all get a lot of phone calls, right? And background screening it has a very high volume of phone calls, so it is a lot easier if you email them. Um, I know that Samantha Hahn is our, our manager in the background screening. A lot of you have reached out to her. Um, she can fast track things through if there seems to be a, a you know, bogged down uh, background screening. So a couple of things that she, want, she wanted to share with you that will help in processing times. Um, Lord, you know you're getting older when you had to put your cheaters on and hold your paper a little bit closer because it's dark in this room. Y'all try to make me feel older than I am. Uh, so, so a few reminders. All screenings, so all screenings should be initiated in the care provider clearinghouse. Please do not send your employee down the road to be fingerprinted somewhere. That is causing delays. Please make sure that you're verifying the mailing address when initiating the screenings in the clearinghouse. We've seen delays because of this. Do not tell your prospective employees to call us. <laughs> Don't tell them to call us. All that day, all that does is just delay the process. We are processing screenings as quickly as we can, but don't tell the prospective employee to call us. I can tell you, I get a lot of those phone calls too, somehow they get routed to me, and they'll say that, oh, well, my prospective employee told me to call you. And I'm like, I can sure you they didn't tell you to call me personally, but I know that they didn't tell you, you know, I, I don't know why they told you that, uh, please work with your prospective employee, employer. Um, we, our staff are, are going as fast as we can to get these screenings done. So calling us, just uh, you know, having that employee call us just continues to delay the process. So, so make sure you're not doing that. Our processing times are in business days. So once the results are received, once the results are received, so not from when they submit the request. Um, so. You know, our, our times and our volumes for our clearinghouse staff have, have really ticked up, uh, which we know that shows that hopefully uh, we're getting back to some of those pre-pandemic times of hiring staff in our healthcare facilities. Uh, but just be patient, and like I said, you know, some of follow a little of those reminders that we sent. I do know one of the biggest ones is making sure that you initiate that screening um, in the clearinghouse. Um, and also, don't have your prospective employees call us because if they're calling us, then our staff who are processing the background screening have to take the time to answer their questions instead of processing the results. Um, so just wanted to share a couple of reminders with you about that. And again, BG screen at aka.myflorida.com. And I tell you to send us an email, uh, and a lot of you that have been around a long time, you know why I say this, well, I tell you to send us an email because then we can respond to you um, in writing. And then you have that in writing from us, um, whether it's an answer to a question about a background screening issue that you've got, about an employee, uh, we have it in writing. So when the surveyors show up to do your survey, and you know, we're looking at background screening, we're looking at the um, employee roster, we have that, you have that from us in writing. So make sure, it, again, a lot easier to send us an email and get your answer. A couple of other